the windows open, at least. Look at this fireplace, really awesome looking. Still got a fire extinguisher in here. Someone was on timeout, staring in the corner. Yo, what is good everyone? It's been a minute, for real. I'm happy to be back. This is my first video of 2024. Man, it feels good. It's your boy, Exploring with Nick. Today I'm out here in the Angeles Crest Forest, continuing the series. This is probably the best series I have on the channel. I get the most hits. Uh, it's been the longest running series that I have. Uh, a lot of my videos are on the De Angeles National Forest. Today, we're exploring an old campground that closed down. It closed down way back in the day at 2000, 2008, it closed down. From what I hear, it was because due to fire. And there was only one way in and one way out. They're trying to reopen it. I don't know if they will or not. They'll have to make a whole nother uh, way to get in. But let's go explore this. Okay, so. I made it inside this abandoned uh, camp way out in the middle of nowhere. I gotta kinda whisper because there's a truck and a camper right here. Um, and then I don't know if this place is totally abandoned or if, if there's a caregiver that works here or not. So far what I've seen, um, nothing's really open right now. If you can see right there, it's all boarded up. Okay, so that's all boarded up. Not really sure what that was. Same with that. Let's see if we can uh, get past this uh, camper. Just in case if there's someone in there. So far this is a really cool explorer. There was some stuff that was open. no one's in that thing oh this must have been where the, the pictures of the old uh, counselors it looks like you can see right there it says principal you can see that sub trail teacher All right, so I just came in from there. Now let's go up this way. This structure right here looks awesome. Damn, another, another fucking RV right there. Oh wow, look at that. Really cool. It's all boarded up though. Doesn't look like you can get in that. So I have seen some pictures of people getting in here. Um, I'm not sure exactly what they get into. It looks like it might be some type of main conference room or something. Because this building right here looks like it's all boarded up as well. Uh, definitely someone's barbecuing right there. Uh, gotta be quiet. Just in case if they're in that trailer I'm passing right now. I read some articles on the internet before I came out here saying that uh, they're trying to reopen this place. But, you know, who knows. This place was owned by the 
um, Long Beach School District and kids would come here to um, to learn about nature pretty much I think it was sixth graders or fifth graders fifth or sixth graders would come here and they would learn about teamwork working outside nature that type of stuff going on trails so I'm all for it if they could open it back if you know if they could reopen it another building it's all locked up though so far looks like nothing's open <laughs> oh. oh man there's all kinds of things flying around out here too reminds me of like when I was in Guam in the jungles of Guam all kinds of stuff flying around out here <laughs> except the only thing that sucks about out here is well another thing that sucks is that uh this is bear country that i'm in and i'm by myself and i don't have signal at all on my phone so that's another thing that kind of sucks okay so i came upon this right here it's kind of a map of the old uh campground here it says I'm way up here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm right there. Or we are right there. <laughs> Everyone with me are right there. And I'm not really sure how to read this map, but it looks like it looks like if I'm going up, uh, I'm not really sure if I'm going up this way, what it will lead to, but it says uh, some type of tank right there. Uh, yeah, so I'm not 100% I'm not sure what way to go to find anything cool. I wish I could read this better. Uh, looks like if I go down here, it might be up this way right here. But only one way to find out. There's a sign on the building right here. I can't really make out what it says. Oh, okay. I think this is where they would... I like filter out the water actually for the for everyone to drink. That's what that's what that says right there. Okay, so oh dang, it's a dead end too. Oh man, it's a dead end. Oh man. I was really hoping, really hoping that there'd be something up here to check out. There ain't nothing up here though. Oh, okay, there's like a little river right there. Maybe this is where they get the water and somehow they store it in here. I'm thinking this is a big old tank right here. And then that room right next to it would be, uh, looks like it was filtering all the water. Definitely this, uh, Gives me uh, Camp Crystal Lake vibes, you know. It's all abandoned. Jason came through here and <laughs> murdered everyone type vibes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I grew up on those movies when I was a kid, so that's probably what I'm feeling. There might be a newer a newer movie for everyone else, but for me it's uh, <laughs> Jason, Camp uh, Crystal Lake. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to take a shot right here I was uh now because I wanted to show you guys a picture that I'm about to take right now it's a little hard because I have to use uh I'm using one hand to hold my camera and then one to hold the video camera but if you can see the scene that I'm that I'm trying to get right here the leading lines of the stairs leading down to the abandoned cabins and um I'm gonna take that picture right now and I'm gonna throw it up once it's uh once it's done for you guys but yeah just just a little uh, picture tip right here that I'm uh that I saw all right so i'm going to continue on i was just up there on this cabin if you guys ever come i was right there taking that picture there's a lot of other opportunities though you could take pictures of this place really dope uh so far still haven't found anything to walk into and explore so this might just be a picture walking session with me today i don't know <laughs> i'm trying to whisper just in case if someone's in that thing to be quiet as I try to be quiet as possible because it looks like there's someone living in there they got like drinks and stuff out on that table right there so I'll just be in there. 
just being real quiet. Hope you guys can hear me. I apologize for whispering. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of whispering either. But yeah, you guys can see there's stuff on that table right there. So there's definitely someone living here. Okay, let's go to the let's go down to the next place. see some stairs up that way right there I think I should probably take those stairs and see where that leads so I'm gonna take those stairs right now because there's another camper right there and they definitely look like they're being lived in so let's check out the next one sucks if this one's boarded up that would be really cool this must be like a grand like a grand hall type type thing or maybe the principal lived in there lived in that one okay so just a bunch of bunch of stairs but I gotta explore this whole thing okay that's boarded up let's check this out going until we find something that's open <laughs> we're gonna find something that's open oh wow this nurse building is actually open the window is open at least oh I still got some crutches right there wow Kind of cut me a little bit. I don't know if I could fit through that window. Otherwise, I would go in. I might have to if this is the only thing. I'm going to try to make my way in there. That's the pool, I think, right there. Let's go down there real fast. I definitely want to take lots of pictures of the pool. I think, if I'm correct, I remember seeing... Uh, it was a little tagged up as well. Oh shit, I almost fell. Oh, that's why you shouldn't come alone. If I would have just cracked myself right now, that would have sucked. Oh dang, there's way more stuff down there. Okay, so that's boarded up. Just want to make sure, because if I don't have to come back up here, I don't want it. That's boarded up, that's boarded up. The only thing that I can't explore is the nurse's building so far. That's the only thing that's kind of open. Uh, there's glass. that It looks like someone broke the glass on it. So I'll do that if I absolutely have to. I do have a first aid kit just in case if I get cut. But uh, And then I don't know if I could actually fit through that window. So, so those are two things kind of holding me back. Okay, so I just got to this thing right here. Oh, old school can crush. I remember those. I used to have one. Uh... Looks like maybe a place where they would keep the recyclables at since there's a bunch of recyclables in there And then plus you got the can crusher right there the Fire hose inside Oh, that might be a cool picture actually Right there And I'm not really sure what this was used for but uh Nothing too uh Nothing too exciting I'm just thinking storage Another leads up to another thing. Dang, there's so many, so many mosquitoes flying around. I know you guys don't see it, but I'm gonna get messed up. I just heard a noise, so I'm trying to figure out what that was. Okay, there's the pool. Oh wow, okay, so that thing right there is open. I'm gonna have to go in there. Okay. Oh fuck, I see a truck. I'm gonna try to, try to hide. Real fast. 
this might have to get cut short okay so there's a there's a guy in a truck and I'm doing my best so he doesn't see me but um might have to cut this explore short today one of the uh campers probably had people in it and they probably heard me dang it let's see okay so i just met the guy that's working here right now and uh he actually is super fucking cool and uh um, he's allowing me to stay and explore so uh, I don't know if I would uh, you know it's because I I told him that I respect uh, you know properties and I'm not some uh, dude that's gonna uh, that you have to worry about pretty much so with that said we are gonna check that building out right there and then I'm gonna try to take um, try to take some pictures of this pool. This pool right here. The pool looks really cool. My battery is dying on my device here, which really sucks. So this is the only door right here that I can go into. It looks like, but luckily for me, I have a flashlight. So let me get my flashlight and then we are going in. All right, flashlight is good. Let's go in this building. Uh, it looks like it's pitch black in there. So I would definitely, uh, you know, bring a flashlight. This one right here, I highly recommend. Look how powerful that thing is. I took this one. I was uh, exploring um, um, that bunker in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Okay. So, let's see what we got in here. Bathroom. Okay. Let's just... This is some type of kitchen, it looks like. Pancake mix. There's definitely been some stuff, rodents, all around in here. Okay, you see that quote right there? Pretty cool. <laughs> oh wow, there's still lids and jars. Oh wow, looks like a grand hallway in there. COVID-19 masks. I actually probably should be wearing one right now because there's a bunch of a poo all in here from rats, rodent droppings. Oh. Okay, so I think I was right. This was a grand hall, probably where everyone would gather and eat. Cool. Oh, a bunch of keys right here. Looks like this is where they would hang up the keys. As you can see that, those little little hooks right there. It's uh, pretty dark in here, so like I said, definitely uh, you're going to want to have a flashlight if if you come here. Here's uh, here's some uh, some little things that they used to do back here. It looks like someone's uh, birthday. Happy birthday, Regina. Um, pretty cool that we get to see that. Look at this fireplace, really awesome looking. Still got a fire extinguisher in here. Someone was on timeout, staring in the corner. Bunch of glass on the floor. Maybe like a little mailbox type thing not really sure what that was for more keys right there and it still got the fans 
bunch of fans in here. I could see myself coming here and really enjoying it, you know. Oh, it looks like this is some type of... Oh, okay, like where it has all the planets. I don't know if, you, if my shadow's in the way, but you can see all the planets right there. Earth's layers, mountains. Oh, okay, really, really cool. I don't think there's anything else in here. be real careful because I don't know how old this place is I think it closed down I'm pretty sure it closed down in 2008 um, it hasn't had any upkeep obviously I have lost my mind <laughs> I don't know if you can see that but that's funny and then the gangsta s <laughs> oh that's funny And that's the way out. And this must have been like a sink. Oh, I got a little scared. I just heard something. I thought I was about to fall through the floor. Oh man. Oh, this map is pretty awesome. It's one of those 3D maps where like the mountains pop out. Pretty awesome. Oh, someone broke it right there. A little, little, bro uh, yeah, little piece is missing. Okay. Not sure what this was, maybe part of the kitchen. Oh, <laughs> that's funny, I deal with these all the time. SDSs. Oh, really cool. Still got a bunch of stuff in there. I don't know what is all, all that stuff is. I'm gonna try try my best not to breathe the stuff in, so I'm gonna try to get out of here. There's a lot of a lot of rat droppings in here. And then what was it? Oh bathroom. Kitchen staff only. Mm, looks like a little closet. Still got some stuff up there in the closet. Dang, toilet is destroyed. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go ahead and get out of there. Well, let's see if this is open actually. Oh, oh. I'm in the fridge. I'm not trying to go in there just in case if that would be a nightmare if I got stuck in this thing. <laughs> But this is where they keep all their food, it looks like. Pretty cool. The one spot we probably don't got rat poo at. Right. Okay, back outside. Something of mine just fell right now. I heard it on the floor, and I have no idea what it was. I hope whatever it was, I don't need it. I got my keys, I got my cameras. Oh man, I don't know what fell. I'm gonna pause this like a bit later and take a screenshot and then I'll find it. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever gonna come back here though. That Explorer right now that we just did was awesome inside this place, the Grand Hall. Really cool, cool vibes. All right guys, so I just said bye to the, uh, to the gentleman uh, living here right now and let him know that I wasn't going to be here anymore just in case someone else was coming in and uh, pretty cool explore pretty cool explore so I know it's been a while it's been it's been uh, a pretty long time since since I've been able to explore I apologize for that guys you know it's been a minute hope you like this new video um, if you would like to explore with me go ahead and shoot a, a DM my way uh, the best bet would be is to probably join my new group, uh, which is Abandoned California on Facebook. Right now, we just got over uh, 
50,000 subscribers. So that is alone, that alone is amazing. Um, also another milestone, uh, the channel. I wanna give a big shout out to all you guys. The channel right now, Exploring with Nick on YouTube has just got over 10,000 subscribers. So I wanna thank all you guys for sticking with me, still watching even though I haven't been uploading. You know, it's been real hard, but you know, hopefully you guys like the video. Hopefully you guys like this video. I appreciate you sticking with me. That's just awesome. I couldn't uh, thank you guys enough. My gratitude for for getting me over uh, for for ten thousand. You know, like it's it's no joke. Like I haven't really been uploading, and you guys are still subscribing. You're still uh, watching my videos. So all that stuff helps. It helps. Uh, it helps me get out here and do the stuff that I love to do. Um, with that being said, though, don't forget to shoot, explore, and never quit. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.